Are you sure about this? Speak up, x not. Yes, sir. Quite sure, dude. I poured all over our research of the Thousand Year Door, dude. It appears the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Bildum said. Finally, the treasure of legend. The ancient power of darkness will soon be ours. Listen and listen well, dumbass. Keep giving the Crystal Star Search top priority. And bring me a milkshake while you're at it. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that rebel scum. Got it, dude. And I'll bring that milkshake as well. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep, okay. Soon I will have the power that is set for a millennium. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world in the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. Like that song. All will kneel before the x naught Regiment. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect ideal world. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. <laughs> T.E.C., did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, TEC? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important? Carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let us have a quiz. A quiz? That is right. I am about to ask you a series of questions. Please choose the correct answer among three questions. If you can answer five questions, you may use communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Correct. Now the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the x Knots? Well, obviously, he wants to get rich. Correct. Now the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the crystal door? T.E.C., is this... Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that awaits behind the thousand-year door? Correct. Now, the fourth question. What does Sir Gronus wish to do with the ancient demon soul? Correct. Now, the fifth question. What is the required... Was required to seal up the demon again? Correct. You correctly answer all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. T T E C. You. Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. This is some interesting music. Uh, okay, I'm done. Could you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. Thank you. You're still a weird computer, TEC. Good night, Princess Peach. Wow. Time to see Bower, or Blazer, whatever you want to call them. My lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap blimp there. Come now! 
You there, two tickets, one great and evil king, and one sweet young thing. Oh, good, good gravy. Uh, b -b 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 Browser, the evil king, uh, and the deluded old hag. Uh, life's too short. Uh, uh. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate. Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this, baby. I snuck in the glitzer once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. <laughs> Oh, wait, Lord Bowser, please! Oh, now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. <laughs> Look at him fly. Uh, oh, what? A warning light? Oh, don't tell me. Fuck! Ready to roll. And Bowser's dead. Nope, just fi just kidding. He's fine. He's in the water. Look at the look at the 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 clown car. It's sad. That's a nice little detail. Moon me. Look at all the moon me I can get. I'm rainbow now. You can retry. That's a feature. Aw, oh, boo. Look at these x knots flying down in the ocean. Fuck the pipe. I only need a spring. Yeah. Boop. Hey, let me in! Let me in! Yeah, I did it! Oh. Sad about your music? Ugh. Oh, that was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Oh, it's all, oh, it's Bowser the Cooper King. You need us, someone help! There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming. Oh, really? Neat! As for me, Glitzville was fantastic! The fights were so cool! I was overcome! Why even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me! And then, the hot dogs! Oh my gracious! Yummily! You had fun too, hmm? Ah! Lord Bowser, you said a no. It was terrible. You hear me? I swallowed that dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. But forget it. It's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now. I can't believe it. It was a fake Mario all this time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, 
Did we hurt your feelings? Uh, maybe a little. Oh, uh, well, alright. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings. So then. You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogue Park, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit any time you like. All right, so we beat chapter we beat chapter four, and uh, I think now is a great time to do some side questy stuff, like talk to everybody in town. So nice to be back in my body. It's too hard to get around as a pig, but I never go anywhere or do anything cool anyway. So maybe it wasn't that bad. You're a real hero, huh? That's great for you. You really shine out in a dark place like this. How depressing. That's a local Twilighter. I have no idea if he or she's gloomy or jolly or what. I mean, I guess it's a pretty optimistic look crazy, but what do I know? That's the same. This is a Twilighter. She used to be a pig, I think, but she's better now. Think there was any fun being anything fun about being a pig? It would probably be insensitive to ask. That's Gloomer of Twilight Town. I'm so stoked that he's back to normal. If, I had, if it had taken any longer, he might have ended up as a pork chop. Please come back to visit anytime you like. Anything in your house? No. 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 It's so dark here. I wake up and think it's still nice sometimes, so yeah. That's another Twilighter. He seemed to be stuck on some dark thoughts. Hopefully he won't worry himself sick. That can turn out worse than what you're afraid of sometimes. This place at home, no matter how dreary it is, it's brighter in memories. That's a local Twilighter. He sounds like he's totally bumming though. You think maybe he wanted to stay a pig? Big bright sun goes down. Big pale moonlight comes up. I like moonlight, yeah. You know, I'm gonna get me another peachy peach, peach, peach. Yes, I want your peach. Give me your peaches. Peaches for free. I know damn well that's used for a recipe. <clears> hmm. <throat> Mommy, I'm hungry. Pork chops. Mario, you congratulations on finding your crystal star. These kids are my treasures. Nothing can replace them, and nothing ever will. I hope you'll find someone that you can feel the same about someday. That's Eve. Must be hard raising all these kids, so I totally respect her. My mom always said that only hard work brings happiness. I think that's true. I think the kids have the same paddle, though. I had this weird dream. Yeah, we're on the moon. Hey, if it ever comes true, can you check to see who really lives up there? Well, that's some good foreshadowing. That's a local Twilighter. He's pretty into how important the moon is here. I gotta admit, it sure is prominent in this- oh, I think I read that already. Hey kiddo, you need something for- Oh, I, I thought he was gonna say something like, Hey, you got your body back. Good job. What, Oink? Mario's not Mario, and Mario was the Oink bad guy? I'm not confused. That means, uh, Mario's only a bad guy? Are you oinking me? Oink. That's a local Twilighter. This person's still oinking. That's not normal. You think this Twilighter's still not completely human? I've been thinking lately, maybe being a human is best. If I wasn't human, we wouldn't be having this conversation, and that wouldn't be too sad. That's a local Twilighter. Are all these people wearing major eyeliner or what? I think that's the same. Hey, are you, Mario? Nice weather, isn't it? You can tell, can you say? Well, take my word for it. It's nice today. That's a Twilighter. She may seem peaceful now, but she went hog wild in her youth. Pretty ironic, isn't it? What's my chapter completion looking like? 100%, 100%. I'm missing something creepy steeple. Fuck me. That's a novelist who lives in Twilight Town. I know what kind of novels he writes. I can't believe people actually read in this town. The light could kill, could kill my eyes. Oops. 
Yes, I'm a novelist. I'm not all that easy on the eyes, but I write by moonlight. Being a tortured novelist, writing through the night is not an unusual thing for me. You know, I actually gotta wonder if the crows have anything new to say. I guess I'll find out. You see suspicious looking shadow pass through here recently? What, it was you? Come on, I'm not gonna believe all that baloney. What, it really was? Can you explain how then? That was very suspicious. That's the gatekeeper. There's a guy like this in every town, huh? Yeah, that's the same. Well, I guess we're going back to Creepy Steeple, huh? Which fucking star piece am I missing in Creepy Steeple, then? Yeah, you know what? While I'm at it, I might as well, um... Might as well tattle this room. This is an underground room in Creepy Steeple. There's a pair here, but no people. That pair must be pretty bored with no one around. Think he talks to himself? That's Dublis's parrot. Seems like he's been abandoned down here. Poor little guy. Hey, he probably has unique dialogue now. Dublis left me here and ran off. Somebody left me here. Somebody left me out here. Oh, I give up. Ah, uh, pretty bird, pretty bird. Which fucking star piece panel am I missing? Also, does this room have unique dialogue? This is an underground corridor in Creepy Steeple. The flames are kind of freaky. The fact that they're burning means someone must have been here recently, though. Wait, is this the si Oh, it's the this is the same room, technically. It's just like an extension of that room. Which room am I missing? Is there a star piece in this room? I actually don't remember. There's no way there's a fucking star piece in this room. I'm actually struggling to remember what this star piece is. Hmm. Maybe it's in this room down here. I didn't really check this room much. Like, I don't know, maybe it's along this wall here. Nope, that ain't it. I mean, I got this one already. I'm actually blanking, what the fuck? What, what star piece did I miss? Is it over here? Mm, no, this ain't it. Oof. Can't be in this room. Hmm. For once, I actually don't remember something about this game. I mean, it might be outside, I don't know. Is there, a, is there a panel outside here? Uh-oh. My damn ass is misremembering. Unless there's a star piece over here or something. Also, that panel, or that, that coin block has been hit already. It doesn't actually come back like it does in the original. Weird. Hopefully one of these has a spike top in it. There we go. Beautiful. That's a spike top. It's a buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. Like other buzzies, fire and explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But you can flip it over to drop its defense to zero. I'm sure you know this already, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. Yeah, I wish my quake did a bit more damage, you know? I'm gonna run.
I don't know why I can't remember where um, the star piece is. Where are you, star piece? Is it in this room? Nope, it's not in this room. Who knew the bottom of the well connected to this pipe? Sneaky, sneaky. I wonder if Duplis knew about this passage. Well, that's creative. Um, Goombella doesn't say that. She can't say that until after the chapter, so... The fact that she says that is kind of neat, honestly. Maybe there's a star piece panel in the bird room? The parrot room, I mean? There's just one along here. I, there, there might be, honestly. Uh, yeah, that's the one I missed. Okay. That was the one I missed. I forgot there was a panel in that room, honestly. And man, am I glad there's a pipe to go back to Twilight Town. One of my favorite changes so far, not gonna lie. Alright, we're not done yet, though, because I also want to, um... I also want to check out what the parrots, or the crows, have to say now. A little birdie told me that the princes of Mushroom Kingdom got kidnapped again. They must have locked her up somewhere safe and sound far away, huh? But still... That peach is sweet and all, but come on. Being on call to save a frequent kidnappee must wreak havoc on our schedule. Not that Mario ever gets sick of saving her. That guy's a total glutton for punishment. Bird up. So many crows to talk to. And yet tiny sparks of hope gleam in this dim existence like pearls in the murk. The smallest glow of kindness shines so brightly in this infinite darkness. Perhaps I have wings so that I may fly to this small light. Oh, well, I keep accidentally bonking Vivian when I hop up. He sure is, and he's even going to top to the he's gonna even he's going to one of those test prep centers. I say it's all worth it if he gets in the Crow Hall University or somewhere good. My my, perhaps Bob and I should start saving for our little Billy's college fund. Fuck is crow is crow what the fuck is crow college like? <laughs> crow college. I can only imagine. Oh yeah? What's the current efficiency conversion rate for solar power? Well, still low, but that number's only going to go up, you know? I wouldn't consider it feasible for commercial venture until the numbers climb much higher. And then you still got the problem of the sun never coming up in this village. <laughs> that is very true. Honey, you should mention that, actually. I'm thinking of developing a pay site called Paper Mario Weekly. Yeah, it'll provide real-time updates on Mario's location and activity. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, there's always a market if you can meet the user's needs like that. Mario Weekly? That's meta as hell. What the hell? Hey Mario, you hear that? Sounds like an email from Princess Peach. Hold on, I, I got to go to the bathroom. <clears throat> My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It's the spirit of a demon. The Exonauts plan to use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door and unseal the demon's spirit. Those name those same crystal stars can also be used to reseal it. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Bob. An ancient demon spirit? Keepers, creepers, it doesn't get much worse than that. Hmm. Bonk, bonk. Oh! Damn it! Oh. Jeez. Get away from me, you hillbillies.
there's not really a whole lot I can do with Vivian's ability besides get Spike Shield. Which, you know, I guess is something, right? I love how they reuse this exact same room layout from uh, TTYD, by the way. Holy shit! I can do the exact same thing I can in, t in 64 as well. You can jump on the chests. Wait, you can't jump on the- you couldn't jump in the chests in the original TTYD, could you? Alright. That has to be new, right? You can't jump on the chests in the original. Which I think is weird. Sadly, the, uh, 60, 64 thing doesn't work. I, I didn't really I didn't really get to ever hear Goombella's thoughts on each crystal star, so I like doing that. Way we have more people here. We have four crystal stars. Ah ah ah. Holy shit, the map is floating! Yeah, Mario, we know that. I'm serious, guys, it's floating! And there's birds! There's birds, guys! Ooh, fancy. New area. Come on, let's go back to Professor Frankly's office. What do you say? We have to tell him about the Princess Peach's email. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was written in Princess Peach's email. The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the crystal star to open up the thousand year door and resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Don't leave us in suspense. Give us a scoop, Professor. Huh, <laughs> this is rather long. See the best lesson well. And all of you were all of you ready? And you, in front of the screen, you listen up too. Screen? What screen? What in the world are you talking about? Oh, never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that destroyed the city, which once stood here, may well refer to this demon. It's said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by that monster. And that thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to legend, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed, its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they stolen from the demon. And they sealed its wicked spirit with the palace of shadow locked behind the thousand year door. Also this music's really nice too. From this I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who yields, who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. Hmm. And the question is whether gathering the crystal stars is, in, is a danger in of itself. Don't you think maybe it would be better to break them apart and scatter the pieces? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that a thousand year door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. 
So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh! In that case, to seal the demon, we gotta go collect the rest of the crystal stars immediately. No time to lose. <laughs> then there's no time to waste. Where can we find the next one? Uh, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Kill Hall Key. Kill Hall Key? I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. It'd be best to ask around at the harbor about Kill Hall Key. Let's ask the people in Oak Park Harbor where they know about Keel Hall Key. And a mail from Jolene. I will check that in a second. <coughs> Alright, anyways, let's read that mail. We have Spicy! Mario, or rather the Great Gonzales, I realized that I never thank you for handling my quest, so I decided to email you. Never thought for a moment that you, a former champion, would end up taking care of the wrestling trunks for me. After you left here, know what Mush said to me? He said, There are some things that can only be understood by fighting. He's an odd one, Mush. He's actually training now. Yes, he's planning a comeback. You should ch come by the Glitz Pit and get some time. Hong Hong. You're just the type of, the, of star the fans crave, you know? Take care, Jolene. Yes, hello to you, I'm a Bulber. I've been never able to forget that savory hot dog flavor. My taste buds are sweating in anticipation of your next spicy visit, Hong Kong. By the way, have you heard? Dried bouquets are not flowers that have withered and gone dry. They are actually flowers that have had the clocks of their lives adjusted to tick just a little slower than normal flowers. Hope you will take the time to stop and smell these delicate flowers. In fact, I would like you to come visit me again with the above mentioned item. Yours is spiciness, my Bulber. We will be definitely doing that. Hey, look, we got a spike shield now. And it's 3 BP. I mean, I could put it on. I'll think about it. There's also requests we could do. And that would be a good time to do, um... Oh yeah, we could do this trouble. I want you to find a good legendary cookbook for me. It's in a pretty scary place, so there's no way an old gal like me could go alone. Please come to my house in Rogueport Square for details. Oh yeah, let's get the let's get the zest tease trouble out of the way. Do it and do it right. Take a fucking dumb. I stop singing like that. Hey, you don't have any good jobs, do you? Know any easy work? Absurd pay? Yeah, like maybe something where I can sing one song and collect royalties forever? You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? Here in Rogueport, there's a world famous archaeologist. Huh? You already knew that. Find some smart guy, I'll have a better tip next time. It's my brother's shop. Someday I'd like to have a shop my own shop. That'd be nice. Is that that? Something smells like pig. Yes, indeed, he oink. What's the deal, Stinky? You get side jobs hanging pigs to raise a little extra dough? Alright, what can we buy? Ooh, we could buy Jumpman. Jumpman sounds like a fun one to get. Yep. It'll actually take a while to set, buy out all this shit. Toad Bros Bazaar announces new shipment of bestseller Super Luigi. Get your copy. Oh yeah, Super Fucking Luigi. Sometimes I think I'd be better off not even speaking. I wish I was still a pig. Ex Eternally Gloomy Twilighter. Doesn't Luigi, Super Luigi cost like 64 bucks? Yep, sure does. Are there any shitty badges I should sell then? Hmm. I don't really have to have any shitty badges per se. They're all like, you know, good. I like having all of them. Yes, including Ice Smash, which I never use. Oh. 
This this is a huge secret, but there here goes. I might loan the sleeves then because I'm a wanted Goomba. What? I'm not wanted by anybody, really? He finally accepted his fate. Also, I forgot to get this star piece. There, I finally got it. <laughs> Yesterday I blew 500 coins at the parlor, but not next time. No way, man. I'm gonna talk to our usual suspects. You probably just jealous. No one's snooping around. It's a very hideout spot. Since there's garbage all over and the place just reeks, who'd want to come in here? So yeah, the, the, the guys, they, they do change their dialogue. It's just like slight text changes every time. I don't know why the fuck they do that. Monetary wealth gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for more, huh? What is missing from my life? The tears at the very insides. I must know. What do I lack? I'd say, emotion. Emotion, you say, huh? I suppose life must experience such a, some emotion. Yes, the gradual process of forever alters the landscape of life. Like rain and dirt. Ah, uh, no, foolish Fabio. Not the erosion, you silly man. What I need is emotion. Wait, hold the horses. That's it. Now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. Hunt for pirate treasure. Why, just the shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure. Hidden on Keel Hall Key? Holy shit, Flavio has his own theme song. And it's fucking banger. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure? Hidden on Keel Hall Key? Ah, uh, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, shelter hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People lay here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. <sighs> it's because of those very rumors that people no longer go to kill Hulky. But that will not stop Flavio. The treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. Huh? What is that you're saying? Talk of a legendary treasure here beneath Rogueport? Yes. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing such stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no. Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to kill Hulk Key. You swine. You mean to steal my treasure from me, you awful, awful man? No. Well, now I'm confused. You're looking for things to notice the crystal stars? Yes. But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I can sell it for a staggering amount of cash? Yes, it would be. Uh, such a stop, such thus, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business suggests. This must be fated work. Flavio shall go with you to kill Hulky. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Hmm. You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man. Do you not know who I am? <laughs> He's so proud of himself, look at him. I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intimate leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. 
Come to the harbor right away! He's, he's ready, dude. Fair bomb flowing up through like a punch for an all air bloke. You want to leave the biggest impression, you gotta do it with perfect timing. Mum said if once you learn that timing, you're finding a dope bomb. Oh, Mum. Hey, Scram, don't talk to me. My heart's burning for a long lost love. Yes, I'm speaking of the extraordinary beauty at the juice shop in Glitzville. No matter how many times I flirted, she never paid me the slightest attention. I just talked to Luigi. That's your brother, Luby. Uh, no, Lufa. I mean, Luigi. Well, I had a circuit break island to get me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty exciting, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. Alright, circuit break island. Let's go. Like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Oh my god, the OG Luigi theme. Just yes, about to arrive at Circuit Break Island, we had this incredible racket. We soon found out that they hold cart races almost every day on the island. Where it takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for the day. Just as we got to a racetrack, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there on the trophy they gave to the winner. It was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed that away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven a kart race before, so I thought that was okay, but boy, was I wrong. The cars were supercharged machines that can send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goals, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out of that pronto. These drivers were crazed. But I worked out my courage and signed up anyway, and my race day finally came. I got one of the best cars, the big green 01. It took my position at the start line. The light went green, I saw the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse. Big green 01 went struggling backwards with me yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me, had enough, enough to cut me off mid-scream. In one fell swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. Too bad, you lost your machine. But it wasn't all bad news, all the other cars crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me towards Jazzafras Town in the east. Then I heard that voice, Princess Ikera's voice, echoed in my ears again. On my princess, random words with poetry is spoken by a voice. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Uh, so after that, I got back on my boat. And came back here to Rollport. And that's what's been up with me. Oh. Yo, I'm talk. And don't for a second think I'm this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. That's Luigi's pal Torque. I hear he's like a total ex excellent mechanic. According to Mechanics Weekly, that two lines back can basically do anything. He seems ticked off though. I don't know what happened. <laughs> 5,000 coins and repairs. Oh, oh, Master Mario, haven't you found the princess yet? Hmm, I certainly hope she didn't meet the syndicate I've been hearing of. Please don't waste another moment, you must find the princess, you must. Sadly, I can't buy anything. I'm broke. You took on my trouble? Wait, it's really important, so listen up, Mr. Klutz. Ages ago, there was this great, legendary chef named Maitre Delish. Rumor has it, you instantly become a better chef by reading this book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find. Star Wars don't carry it. But I recently heard that someone used to live in a creepy steeple had a copy. There are many secrets in the creepy steeple, so it's moldering there somewhere. I just have to get my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, Stumblebum. Ah! 
That's it! That's the book by Major Delish! Get it here, quick! Ah, uh, uh, I see! Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm? Doodle dee doo da! I've got it now! Just glaze a mushroom with honey syrup for a yummy honey shroom! Brilliant! Now I can use two recipes that require two ingredients! Now that's some book! Talk about effective! Thanks, Mr. Staggers! Take this as your reward! Yay, honey shroom! Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients, so just ask me anytime! I'm really gonna put my soul into cook with vengeance from now this day on! So here's where, um... Here's where the cooking really comes into play. Mmm. Actually. Nope. Hold on, let me get a let me get a mushroom real quick. Actually, let me get two mushrooms. Eh. Eh. Unfortunately, I, mean, I don't have that much money, so I gotta be careful. We're gonna do a bit of cooking this episode. Use two items. Oh my god, they did the fucking Bog Fables thing where you can pick if you want to do one or two items. Now that's fucking awesome. They simplified cooking! And I dropped my fucking bottle. There we go. Real honey shroom. Alright, let's use a maple syrup and a mushroom now. We get a maple shroom. And I don't know if there's anything else I can cook. Golden leaf and peachy peach. I don't know if that makes anything. <laughs> Front facing super hammer sprite, guys. I'm here to withdraw some things. Now, if I remember correctly, I think a horsetail and turtley leaf make a salad. I could be wrong about that. Hmm. Actually, you know what? You think maybe the golden leaf just makes a zest tea? We're gonna try out some shit. I'm gonna see what I remember about cooking in this game. Oops. Okay, so I am kind of curious about one thing. Here's the thing. Since hammer throw got buffed, does that mean piercing blow got changed in any way? I actually can't tell. I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out though, right? Anyways, let me cook a golden leaf. Use one item! Yeah, let's cook up a golden leaf. I'm pretty sure this makes a gold leaf. Or maybe this is ST. Yum! Wanna take a zombie? Ooh, yeah, zest tea. Yum, okay. Next up, we're going to use a horsetail and a turtley leaf. If I'm not mistaken, I think this makes a healthy salad. Yep. So I remember that, at least. Is there anything else I can use together, though? You know what? Golden Leaf and Peachy Peach. I forget if that makes anything. Fuck it. I mean, I'm gonna try out some shit. <laughs> okay, well, it was worth a try, I guess.
Hey, I mean, we got, uh... We got the zest tea and healthy salads. That's pretty nice. What well, actually tells you... It tells you the... Tells you what the, the recipe is. Maybe by cooking cook cake mix. Alright. Oh yeah, we can also check the art gallery for chapter 4 now. So, let's have a look. It was an entire pan out view of Twilight Town. Here's the houses. So, this... Wait a minute. Hang on a second. This looks weird. Why... One, why is there a tree there? And two, there's also the the thing that you push is missing. Oh, what the hell is going on with this? This looks kind of wild. Ooh, look how nice this looks. Creepy sepal looks really nice. Yeah, look at that. That looks really awesome. I love all these, like... Yeah, you can see, because it basically look at all these areas in high quality and stuff. They probably have, like, you know, 4K images of these. <laughs> we got concept art. There's the underground areas. Ooh, we got straight up concept art of Chapter 4. Really nice. And they got concept art of Flurry for some reason and Dupless. Not sure why it's on this page, but yeah. Here you can see all of the um You can have a look, you can see all the like concept designs for uh Ramperu, which is Japanese name. And they eventually just decided on the Dupla Ghost design from 64. And I don't know what the fuck Mario's doing with that thing. I don't even know what the f Is that- is that supposed to be fl what a flurry is made? Is that she was supposed to be like a weird flower thing? She was gonna be a bird at one point? What the fuck? That's weird. Really weird. We also have the sound gallery. Let's have a look at that. Oh wait, I'm using the GameCube badge still. Let me take that off real quick. Sounds very nice. Music like this really fits the Origami King style of music. It's a you Mario? This remix goes hard, dude. I want to hear more of the second part. It's just Duplis is able with fucking guitars. It's amazing. God damn, man.
I didn't get to hear much of Vivian's song. Let me listen to it again. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a little weird remix of the Shadow Sirens theme. That's cool. East Returns, that's Twilight Town, yeah. Yeah, Chapter 4 battle theme is pretty damn good. That's some good stuff. Oh yeah, let me listen to the Atomic Boo battle theme again. I still can't believe they gave Atomic Boo a battle theme, though. Yeah, this shit's good, man. Alright, let me just listen to this real quick, too. I did get spoiled on Duplass having two battle themes, but I didn't know it was going to go as hard as this. <clears throat> Also, they're missing a song. There's that, like, sinister music that played at Twilight Town. Like, after you returned. That's not on here. That's weird. Okay, well. Anything interesting in Chapter 1 that I missed? Um, Hooktail Castle having four parts casually. Schwank Fortress having three parts casually. Can't wait to get all of the rogue part shine sprites. That'll be good. Hmm. How many recipes we got now? 13 out of 58. That's not very much. 
All right, that's enough. Uh, that's enough messing around. Let's actually progress the story a little bit. I don't think. I think I'm gonna have to split this up into multiple parts because. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. They like start setting up the port down here. Okay, Lumpy's gone now, so I think that means he'll be back after Chapter 5 or 6. I think he shows up after Chapter 6, because I know after Chapter 5, Luigi's there, so it'll take a while. So that's how you get it up, where you have to jump to the fool, uh, I mean, cool Flavio. Well, at any rate, be careful, that oil is right nasty. Pair yourself, eh? Setting sail at last, huh? Treasure is his allure, but my family needs me. Getting dreams is all well and good, but certain death voyages, I'll pass, thanks. This is Rogue Park Harbor. Ships coming here from all over the world. Area's always working off their tails down here. No water is all sweaty. Sometimes the area is all stacked high with cargo from all the ships. The water smells pretty rank, but that's like the magic of a port town, you know? See so you with the others, fools, eh? We only got one life. You should treasure it. But hey, if you do go there, give my regards all the dead mates, alright? Off to that island, are you? Well, at least Flavio ships the best in the harbor. You gotta be fine as long as you don't see any ghosts. But if the Pirate King's curse is real, there ain't a ship on that sea that can save you. Yeah, I just wanted to close my door. Right, fair weather today, eh? Yeah, perfect set day to set sail, if I do say so. Wouldn't mind a bit of the whole journey for blue and fair as today, no sorry, Bob. <laughs> oh yeah, gonna be filthy rich, can't wait to leave port. They call that guy Four Eyes. He's one of the sailors coming with us to Keel Hall Keep. I totally feel like I've seen some him somewhere though before. But maybe I'm just losing it, and I burp. Oops, not what I meant to do. Once we're ready to go, all we have to do is talk to Flavio on his ship in Rogueport Harbor. Uh, pleased to meet uh your acquaintance. <laughs> At last, my dream will come true. I'm gonna open my very own shop on Kilo Key. I don't care if it's small and ran shackle. It'll be all mine. I just have one slight worry. Kill all keys a deserted island. Cursed island. You think I'll get much foot traffic? Starboard ho! Point ho! Giant monster blooper ho! I'm pressing my hose. I might as well tell you, my brother went to Kill Hall Key and never returned. I get woozy just thinking of it, but I decided to work up my courage and set sail there. I want to talk to this guy. I always dream of the day I leave this town. I don't care if they're pirates or ghosts or undead vampires where we're going. It's gotta be worlds better than this stinkhole. That's one of the toads coming with his heel the key. Sounds like she got tired of life in Rogue Port and wants a fresh start on Keel Hall Key. Hey, she's young, you know. That's the time to get out there and try new stuff. Eh, yeah, I'm stuck. That's a toad sailor. He seems pretty freaked out to be a sailor, but hey. I was here, I'm worried about- oh yeah, that's the same. That's one of the to sailors going with us to Kill Hall Key. He seems super motivated, so... Or super motivated, so we're totally lucky to have him, you know what I mean? Oops. Hey, right, you know what? Okay, let's just talk to Flavio. Oh yeah, so it is you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship! She's a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavian, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold, the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She's a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Uh, yes? Did you speak? Yes, yes, of course. The problem that has sprung up. I completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavian. She bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. 
The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now here's the real problem. The waters around Kilohal Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is, how you say, a pickle. Oi, Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve our problem. Then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living here in Rogue Bar. Yeah, I think it's called Admiral Bobbery. Salty old sea dog, by all counts. But he's said to have had the ailments to touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, they ain't a wee soul what's seen him in the seas of late. That's a boom! Problem solved! Let's scout out this Barbary fellow and get him on board! As is customary, my captain will handle all the negotiations. That would be you, Mario. Me? That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints, aye aye, sir. Aye aye. Sounds fair, sir. I'm on board. Good plan. Sure thing. Then it is decided. You must find this Barbary and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. You must find this Barbary and bring him here. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, that's the same. I wonder where Bobbery is. I bet lots of rumors flow through Polly's place. Probably try asking him. Alright, we can talk to Podly then. Bobbery? Yeah, yeah, I know him. You know that huge house just past the wall in this east part of town? That's his. But I think both you and he would be better off with it. Just let him be. We're looking for a house just past the wall in the eastern part of town. That's better, Professor. Let's ask him. Good, and the garbage is empty. Bobbery? That old sea dog lives just to the right of my house if you're facing the front. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Okay. Well, we're gonna need the good old Josh for this one. The other day I saw this guy jump from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually, he might have been a bandit. Maybe that's why he was sneaking in the chimneys. Ah, uh, how ironic. Oh yeah, you know what, let's talk to Grifty some more. I got some moon need to spare. Good day, he says. Is there a tale you want to hear? Let's talk about the Crystal Stars. In order to increase this already formidable power, the demon created crystal stars to hold the essence of the heavens. These stars were scattered across the land, better to exert the demon's influence. One of the castles built to contain these stars still stands near Petal Meadows. If there's not a tale you wish to hear, just ask. A Koopa who traveled the world alone and learned of the darkness covering the land. He went alone wherever the evil dwelt, and banished it with shell and sheer bravado. The monster grew to fear the scar-veiled Koopa who thwarted them at every turn, but the brave Koopa was finally taken in a trap set for him by the monsters. And then a boo who fought with the monsters came and used her magic to free him. The brave Koopa's spirit had melted the heart of the cold boo lass. The Boo used their powerful magic to learn more about the evil they faced. We cannot destroy the darkness alone, she decided, her face a grim mask. 
we needed the Toad, a hero of Petal Meadows and the wise group of Bugly Woods. The Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. If there's another- okay. Do I have just enough for these? The power of the world-devouring demon was greater than any could imagine. But the wise Goomba soon realized that this was the power of the Crystal Stars. She thought of a way to take the stars and use them against the demon. She told the other heroes her plan and set it in motion, banishing their fears. The Boo's magic and the Toad's strength created a gap in the demon's defenses. At that moment, the brave Koopa seized the stars and succeeded in badly damaging the demon. But even the brave Koopa's stroke was not enough to end the demon's reign. The wise Goomba thought of another use for the crystal stars in the dire hour. She suggested sealing the demon forever with the crystal stars. All agreed. The heroes matched their strengths with the power of the crystal stars. And they successfully sealed the demon's soul within the deepest part of the palace. Together they made it so that the only all seven crystal stars could break the seal. After the demon was sealed within the Palace of Shadow, many refused to come near that place of terror. But as the years passed, entire generations forgot, and the penniless and immoral began to congregate in this once barren place. This place soon became a populous harbor of the town of Rogueport, and some even began to sing the legend underground the city held a legendary treasure. But they were unaware that the demon slept beneath them still. I don't know if there's more he'll have later, but for now, that's pretty damn interesting. Offer the control. What do you blokes want? Well, I'm just gonna jump into your room real quick. That's a Bob, I'm a sailor. The workers at the docks say he's some kind of legend. I heard he was stubborn, but who knows he'd give us this much trouble, seriously. Admiral Bobbery, I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Don't play dumb with us. We already know that we already told that you are Admiral Bobbery. Huh, <laughs> what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want me with if I were this chap? Yeah. You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job, huh? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But look, we're begging you here. You totally have to. You're the only one who can guide a, our ship to keep the hall key. This is serious stuff. Oh, we're sorry, dear fellows. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Now away with you. Darn, what do we do, Mario? That guy doesn't seem too stoked to come with us. Hmm. You know what I wonder, though? Why is he all weird out by the sea anyway? We gotta find someone who knows about this guy and find out what his malfunction is. I wonder why Bobbery doesn't want to sail anymore. There must be a story, so we should ask the professor. Or... Our oh, Bobbery won't go to sea? That's a setback. Hmm, I don't know the man myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'd be willing to bet that Polly knows a thing or two. Oh yeah, right. How many shine sprites I got? Oh, wow. Eight. Eight shine sprites. Damn. Yeah, let's, let's upgrade. Let's upgrade Vivian while I'm here. Alright, well, um, that's that then. 
Zach said intelligent systems are cooking. They really are, though. You say Bobbery won't go to the sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <laughs> yes! Oh, is that so? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keel Hall Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would beat their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do, I can take it. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of O goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love. That sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill, a virus, passing cold. No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He's never gone out to sea since. Hmm. Mm. I can't imagine what that poor man went through. No wonder he won't sail. We all know his tale now, so tell me. Do you still want him to return to sea? Yes, we have no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Got an old letter. The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery just before she departed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she day lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him, so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. When I saw Barbary in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Barbary. Thank you so much, Podly. We'll deliver the letter, don't you worry. Ready, Mario? Also, guys, I think this might be my longest stream of all time. This is a- this, we have reached six-hour stream territory. This is absolutely crazy. I don't know if I'll ever make a stream this long ever again, but... Here we are. Yeah, you know, let me, uh, let me pull a Kumbella for this. What? Oh, my Blabberton's beard, not you again. Why well, my times do- No matter how many times you entreat me, my sense is firm. Now away with you. Pardon? A letter you say? F for me? Mm-hmm. Uh, what? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you'll blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you'll mourn, I beg that you remember that time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. 
A tide, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. A thousand pardons. But may I have a moment alone, if you please? Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Oh, look at Mario doing that little salute. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keel Hall Key. Oh, yeah. <sighs> if you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery, awesome. The ship's in the arbor, huh? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Yeah, let's go. All right. Um, you know what? There's one more thing I want to do before I end the episode. We're gonna do this elusive badge. I'm after an elusive badge. I must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of, of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. This poster's anonymous. This may be dangerous. Want to take on this trouble? Yeah, I actually teared up during that. What the fuck? That cutscene hits hard, just like it did the first time I played this game. And I didn't think that's something that could happen. But, here we are, I guess. And I have no money! Oh, no! Welcome to- Oh. You're just gonna ignore the fat- Oh, they're sinful days. That's new, actually. Oh, I'm good on health. Mmm, hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get straight to it, okay? I've done all I can find. I've done all I can, I can to find this one elusive badge, but I've failed at every turn. This badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, of that much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you see a hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, any way to look for it, sweetie. Okay, sweetie? That's Miss Mao's a thief. Huh, she's just off to exotic place to find rare badges. I'm surprised she has the time and energy for badges, considering how often she flirts with you. It's weird that she's the anonymous requester of the super secret badge. I think that's the same, yeah. So I think we'll do Miss Mouse's request and then probably call it a day? There's a lot I could do in Rogueport. Rogueport. But uh, I'm kind of getting up on time, so... I can only do so much for today. <sighs> I still have no idea why AMD drivers don't render this place correctly. It's so weird. Alright, what can we trade for this time? Um, Flower Saver P, you know what? Sure. Uh, yeah, let's get this. We're gonna go back to Hooktail Castle. We gotta get the star piece in there anyways, so this would be a great time to go do that. So yeah, pretty good timing all around, I'd say. Don't leave without me. Love the water textures, by the way. They're looking really cool. Ah, so nice to be back here. But you know what? I got you an even better idea. I'm gonna listen to the original version. Good shit.
Alright, back at Hooktail Castle again. What chapter am I in right now? Uh, well, next time I stream this, I'm gonna do chapter 5. I'm just doing some side questy stuff right now. Like, returning to Hooktail Castle. <laughs> Get to hear the original version of Hooktail's Castle. By the way, th this stream is gonna be six and a half hours long, I think. Yeah, it's eight chapters. Where was this star piece panel anyway? I think it was actually over here. Yep, there it is. Woo! <laughs> Well, yeah, so I think, I think now, we have all of Chapter 1's, uh, star pieces now, so we can look at all the concept art now. Like, uh, this cool-ass bridge, and some candy canes, and bushes, and look at all that stuff. Oh, wow, look at that! We actually get art of Croup and his wife. I didn't expect that. There's all the peach merchandise. <laughs> now, let's take a closer look at all that. Pretty cool stuff. Here we got, uh... The battle backgrounds. Schwank Fortress. <laughs> Six hours long since Chapter 3 being so long. Yeah. Pretty funny, huh? Here's some concept art for Chapter 1, Hooktail Castle. We got the spike room over there. Pretty nice. Here's the burst room. We got the- we got nice- some nice renders of the switches and all that. Look at all that stuff. Wow! Cool. Ooh, and we got Chapter 1 sketches, too. Hmm. Metalware looked a lot different back then. I like all these pencil sketches, they're pretty nice. Ooh, look at Hotel Castle. Dude, look, she was like a regular old dragon back then. It looks a lot more medieval looking, you know? Oh, look at that! Yeah, this is definitely concept art. Uh, okay, so Hooktail is apparently supposed to look like that. There's Croup, Coopley, and Koopy Koo. Vivian being an emo. This is apparently what Coops could have been. He could have had a backpack. <laughs> he could have had an inner tube for some reason, and Hooktail was originally gonna look a lot more dragon like instead of this dragon that we got. Glad they didn't go with that design. Oh wow, they even tell us the date October 10th. Or no, October 16th, October 4th. They did these sketches back in 2002. Crazy. It's nice to see T2ID concept art. I never, I don't know if any of that's ever been officially released to the public. So if all of that's new, it's nice to see it for the first time, you know what I mean? He looks like a- technically he looks like a dragon. And also it's a she, not a he, by the way. Only unfortunate thing is I have to go all the way back to the fucking top of Hooktail Castle. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Oh wait, never mind, I don't. There's a shortcut here, ain't there? Wait, no, fuck. The block's not here. God damn it. So much for that shortcut. Yeah, it looks like you still gotta climb out, climb up Hooktail Castle. The backtracking for Hooktail Castle still sucks. You know, honestly, the fact that you have to return to Hooktail Castle so many times might be one of the reasons why I don't like Chapter 1. Fuck. It's a she, yeah. Why are we fighting you guys? No, I, I don't want that.
Yeah, one star point. Wow, thanks, Merly. You get three times the coins, even though it's on a weak ass enemy. Oh well. Anyways. Go away, Gumba. <laughs> That's you. Well, you know what I just realized? You think Gloomtail and Bonetail are gonna have different battle themes now? Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if they did. Hell no, I'm not finding this. Actually, wait a minute. If I'm not mistaken, I believe you can make this jump with Yoshi. Oh, never mind, you can't. Fuck. Imagine too slow. Well, um, fuck it, I guess. We'll play. You know, let's do mini egg for shits and giggles. And it didn't kill the guy I wanted to. Well, that's just fantastic. I got out of here, mofo. I could have sworn you could you could get a get over there, but I guess not. It's too far. Hmm. Is there any is there any way to get over there easily? I don't think so. I think you just gotta take the plane like a pleb. That's why I hate doing this quest. You gotta mash whenever I teabag like in Toho. Yeah, very thin me. Nope, not doing that. It looks very awesome. I would love to do a zoom out of this place, honestly. I don't know how cool that would be. Hmm. Dodging this gumbo might be tough. Like the bunny. Yeah, sure, I guess you can do Toho on Sunday. I gotta get, um, I gotta get, I gotta get a natural, what's it called? Unthinkable natural law or whatever. I keep wanting to call it unthink, unnatural thinkable law. <laughs> also, we can title this room now. <laughs> you might finish engage. This is Hooktail's lair. Yep, the highest chamber in the castle. Now, where's Hooktail, huh? Hmm, you know, maybe we should gla be glad it's not around that at the moment. Yeah, so you notice there's an invisible wall here. Yay, the chapter where Kokton is introduced. Let's go. Got an elusive badge. The badge Miss Mouse is looking for. Take it to her. See, now I really wish I could just warp on out of here, but I, I have to pull the way back. We coke ton, coke ton alert. Boy, mate, piss off!
Alright, you know what? Fuck you, I'm blowing you guys. If you may, if you get about to get Kokai, you must be pretty close to the end of the game then. I don't know if you're gonna do the Xenolog, because I've had the Xenolog pretty fucking boring. <laughs> Man, intelligent systems really cooking recently. Engage? I loved Engage. And this game? Fucking amazing. Best remake of all time, but I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm literally reliving my childhood right now. I mean, honestly, that's the best thing you could ask for. I wish I could jump, just, just jump off these stairs, you know? Yeah, let's put this block down here. So about Mario didn't break his kneecaps, but don't worry about it. Legitimately with, 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 legitimately with mods. How about that? And I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I gotta get. I gotta make some like nuggies or something. I don't know. Fries. I don't know. But I probably have something in the cupboard that I can make, and then I could throw some tea with that. You know. I'm sure a coat time will be once I finish chapter 22. He's a piece of paper. Of course he breaks his kneecaps. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you can do this. Yeah. You can ride across it with Josh. You have a funny idea? Just make Kokton evil again and you're done. Oh, he's doing something a little different, though. Okay. I didn't get caught. No, oh, I didn't get caught. I lose this round. Make Sabrero Man into Dante? <laughs> Hell yeah. Good idea. Alright, last thing then. Plus, I want to hear that badge sound effect as well. Hmm, that face. Does it mean you found the badge? No. Yes, I did. Well, this is certainly the badge that I was looking for. Oh my, yes. Mm-hmm. Now my sweet promise to me to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. <gasps> oh! I have to apologize. But I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge finding skills than I do. I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Oh! Because <laughs> I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now that I've got that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you mentioned to find. Imagine to find. But I expect you to leave me tomorrow. Yeah! Now let me formally state. That you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Including a kiss. Miss Mouse, join the party! The final boss will be... Theme will be Virgil's theme. And you see all the custom elements you put on the character. Sure, you have to show them, I guess. 
press X and Miss Mouse will sniff the surrounding air. If there are any items or objects hidden nearby, she'll point you towards your general director. Press X to have Miss Mouse check for anything in the air. Yes, there should be something nearby. If there's an item nearby or something of interest, her nose will twitch. Now use X again to have her check the air again. There's something right in the air, sweetie. Her actions will change depending on the distance to the item. That concludes this primer. Do you feel like you've mastered Miss Mouse's ability? Yes! In battle, she can attack enemies with Love Slap. She can also help out by using Kiss Thief to steal an enemy's item. Actually, that's perfect, now I can upgrade Miss Mouse as well. There's something nearby. Oh, right, I forgot about the star piece in this area, didn't I? Oh no, not this one. Which one am I missing? Oh, oh, you know what? She's talking about this treasure chest right here, isn't she? Yeah, I can't get that right now. Thanks, Miss Mouse. Anyways, I'll upgrade Miss Mouse, and then we'll call it a day, alright? I think I did get all those, uh, shine sprites. I doubt Miss Mouse is any good in this game still, but you know what? You never know. Alright. Let's see. Miss Mouse, the little Mouser thief, is actually the manager of the lovely house of badges shop in Roqueport. Press X to have her sniff for any nearby goods. Her nose twitches when treasure's nearby. Attack an enemy with a slap that pierces the fence. Steal enemies, badger item. Tease enemies with some sly moves, making them dizzy. Nope, still sounds about as shitty as it was normally. It's been six hours, and I'm hungry. I'm up to get a little hungry. So let's go save. Call it a day. This is my longest stream of all time. Six and a half hours. I don't know if I'll ever be able to top that. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe me on YouTube and Twitch. I'm gonna play um, Terraria with Desmond in like half an hour, 40 minutes or so. And I wanna make something to eat, so uh, yeah. Oh, um, I'm gonna take my time with that. So yeah, take care guys, and I'll see you in a little while. So, bye.